what are you all going to do now? We are going to... Are we going to move the town or what's some... No, no, that's later. Okay? <laughs> what are we going to do now? We're going to have an interview. Okay, but that's after we do what we're doing right now. We're going to take a group video uh -huh. I don't know about is. how we felt and our experience about the Heroes program. Okay. Very nice. These lovely girls, lovely ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My experience in this program was at first I was dreading it because I didn't like some people. But as soon as I get to know everybody and say, I'm a top dog, I'm a sister, I have to okay. say. <laughs> and I really like Miss Whitney because she, I, she's one of the few people I can actually open up to and share my past memories and troubles before. So I really like this program. The season project helped me so much in my life. It taught me kindness, loyalty, respect <laughs> for yourself. It taught me a lot of stuff. And I really want to talk this with me because <laughs> if it wasn't for her, I would not be here and having a better life style. So yeah, that's what Safe Zone Project. Safe Zone Project bring me closer to these young ladies because before I wasn't talking to certain certain individuals, but now I come closer to them, respect them as females, and then we get closer to football and as friends. Thank you. I like to thank Miss Brittany and the football girls under 15, you know, for having me here for this whole month. And I like to thank Malika, Hanifa, Amanda, Michaela, Maya, and Kushal, Krista, everyone, you know, <laughs> for having me here to have a, a better person, to be a brave girl who is shy, who can suffer to talk and something like that. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Not that I am a really caring person. And that and as help well, I used to have people from before but I learned that I'm more helpful. So like if I know people don't have money to go somewhere, I would offer them even if I have little. What did you see differently in your life after experiencing the Houston project? I saw that I was capable of doing bigger stuff that I could push myself out of my schoolwork and to be a better person and that I am capable of helping others even in situations that may affect me so that's meaning putting myself by putting their well-being in a better position than mine in order to help them so if they are sad I would rather help them first than to help myself what do you think changed about your future based on the Safe Zone project? That question is hard. It changed my appearance on how to act in mm -hmm. situations and how mm -hmm. to approach it differently and what to do and not do. So my future will be going down a straight line and for me to make good decisions and not bad decisions and follow people that are not going down the right path to lead me down a bad future. Okay. Wow. <laughs> good job. No, as for this safe zone project, I mean, not all grudges and hateful people just I mean, to let one of my feelings more. I understand people better by not the actions or by the feelings. Awesome. Thank you, Chevelle and Aaliyah. Share with me something something that changed in you after experiencing the Safe Zone project. Yes, I learned to forgive people. I learned that no, I know who's my friend and who's not my friend. So. Okay, Aaliyah. <laughs> the question is, what did what changed about you based on the Safe Zone project? I don't know if that was your question or not. I think I'd made up a new question. 
with uh -huh. respect to others and or to handle situations okay. right way in terms of the value. Okay. Sorry. For sure. What was your experience of the Safe Zone project? Everything. Use more descriptive words than that. <laughs> it was good. It was um, no extra talking, please. Plenty of advice and to help you with life. Okay. What changed about you after experiencing the Safe Zone project? Nothing. Did anything get better, worse, yeah, yeah, different? Situations more better. Okay, very good. And what was your best, fondest memory of the Safe Zone project? Everything. Like? Mm -hmm. The whole sessions, all the sessions. Give me top three memories that you have from the Safe Zone project. Yeah, the push-ups. Uh -huh. <laughs> what happened exactly in the push-ups, actually? I beat missing the push-ups. <laughs> um, when we did Akka, we skit. Mm -hmm. and, um, when we was eating all the food and pizza. And very nice. Thank you very much. So that actually brings up one of the worst memories of the project. There was one day where my project sponsor came, um, the CEO of the Heroes Foundation, and obviously came to do the checkup on the project and only one girl showed up. Only one. A question on, I guess, controlling your empathy, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because in doing safe zone, yeah, in, both the first, right? <laughs> in both the first season, or what do you call it, installment? Edition. Edition. Yeah, in both the first edition and second edition. So I mean like out of the plans that you made. Yeah. But, you know that you thought, okay, well the day would have gone a particular way. Mm -hmm. or, you know, and mm -hmm. it's just like that. Know, what what day was that? Go and laugh at you, and it's be like now you have to think on your foot this one. What day was that? Well, like, what, what comes to mind is your heart. The closest ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how involved should companies with social responsibilities be involved in a project like this? So they aren't as strict in racism. That is more strict with an adult mind as true bombers as is, you know, but more adults are the racist. The children just, they imitate, they social learning, they imitate it, and then they become very ferocious adults. I grew up in an environment where social media is now dictating thought processes and ideologies. And it seems like um, an empowered woman or a woman who is free of choice is somebody who has their body out there all the time. Or